वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल कदम अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स फॉर कदम अकेडमी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एड मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन वीडियोज सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू क्लियर यू दि डिके इन कुलब डैम्पिंग कुलम डैम्पिंग ऑलरेडी आई एक्सप्लेन विद इन डिटेल वॉट इज द कुलम डैम्पिंग हाउ द मोशन ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर द कुलम डैम्पिंग इज डिराइव फॉर दिस इज द साइकल फॉर वन साइकल हाउ मच विल द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टोटल टाइम पीरियड एंड दिस ओमेगा एन एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द फ्रिक्वेंसी वी आर कवर्ड इन दैट लेक्चर बट हियर द डिके इन कुलम डैम्पिंग और द रेट ऑफ डिके फॉर द वन साइकल हेयर हाउ द कंसेप्ट इज देयर क्लियर इन दिस डायग्राम द वन साइकल विल कंप्लीट फ्रॉम दिस पोजिशन टू हेयर अप टू दिस पोजिशन फॉर दिस कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस वन साइकल विल सी the decay means uh, the decrease in the amplitude this is amplitude versus time diagram the displacement versus time or amplitude versus time diagram so this line which will show here 4fs by k that is the reduce means decay in the one cycle after one cycle it will be reduce this amplitude goes on reduce this xa reduce on this on one side of the mean position it is considered so it will be the xa and this xc it will be reduced so what will the reduction in this one cycle after one cycle complete one cycle so what will the reduction in this one that will be written on the one side for f c by k so in mean position of, of one side is shown but this uh, how it will come will prove it in this lecture i will show you this is the diagram which will show you this spring mass system this is at mean position where is the velocity is zero so what we have to do we have to prove for one cycle this del means decay in the one cycle between these successive cycles will be the 4f by k for for half cycle is 2f by k that xa minus xb is equal to 2f by k as we have shown here in this picture xa and xb are the difference between these two successive cycle is how much 2f by k 2f by k for after one complete cycle this two complete cycle it will become a fc by for fc by k so right here when this mass move to the extreme position here right side on right side will it will move at the where it is again velocity is zero and this strain energy it will stretch this spring spring is stretch so what will the strain energy here half into k x a square the k x is the displacement and k x a square strain energy we are written here similarly for extreme left position when it will move the x a distance is more than the x b here it you can also visualize through this diagram also this when it will move to the extreme position left position then there in this case velocity also zero and it is compact the spring is get stretch in this case and it will get compact here and it will also form the strain energy and you can write here we have written here equation for the strain energy in this uh, case the ub is equal to half k x b square okay so these are the two equations and the loss of energy in this case the loss of energy due to the work done what are the work done here it move from this position to this position so the loss of energy energy is due to work done so friend here that against this work done is the loss of energy is due to work done and this work done against what against this friction force against this friction force the friction force which will oppose the two sliding surfaces are there and that friction force will against and this work done is we have to find out and that work done is we can calculate by using the formula 
W is equal to force into distance travel. Distance travel. Okay. So how much distance travel and how, how, what is the force? So W is we can calculate by F C is the force that is the friction force into that X A plus X B distance travel. From this equation one and from this equation we can write this loss of energy loss of energy is equal to work done but this loss of energy is nothing but the delta delta is nothing but the delta u is equal to w delta u nothing but the this ub minus ua which is equal to w correct ub minus ua is equal to w and that we had written in this equation the half k ub is written here x a square minus and half k k and a half is taken common and x b square is equal to w is what f c into x a plus x b this is the a square plus b square like this equation we can write this a square minus b square equation like this a plus b into a minus b similarly we write for this one half into k x a plus x b minus this x a minus x b f c x a plus x b okay this x a x b we get cancel and remaining will be the here answer that is the x a minus x b the half will go on this side k go on this side so 2 into f this by k so what is this x a minus x b the x a minus x b is the difference between this amplitude this x a for this half cycle and this half cycle the difference between these two okay this differentiating these two will get uh, what 2f by here 2f by k so we have just proved proved that what we are uh, going to de uh, derive the x a minus x b is equal to 2f by k so this we have just proved or and what is the find out we have to find out this decay decay means this this we have to find out okay so we we'll go for that one also here and right here how to find out that uh, uh, the position for this extreme position we can say extreme position also we can find out here this extreme position also we can find out how to find out that one that we will show you okay so see here this is for the half cycle is for a half cycle okay. is for a half cycle now what we will do we will find out it means the loss of amplitude this is a loss of amplitude okay loss of amplitude in half cycle so what will the for this full cycle the del is equal to twice 2f by k so del is equal to over f by k this also we can prove just for the show you as this cycle here i will show you this cycle half cycle is this one and a half cycle is this one the total cycle is this one so twice i have written and shown to you the 4f by k del is equal to 4f by k but we can also prove from this diagram also and this derivation also we can prove what we have to do here in this case first we have to write the this uh, loss of energy loss of energy into just just we have written here from this we have derived this for half cycle and we have derived the for the full cycle but 
this is your final derivation okay so now what do we do we have to find out this n cycle what will the del this value of this uh, decay decay for nth cycle means nth number of cycle what will the value for n number of cycle n is equal to n number of cycles n number of cycle what will the value i will write here del is equal to suppose x cycle 1 this cycle 1 then minus x cycle 2 there is a difference between these two similarly we can write here x equal to suppose x0 is the uh, starting cycle uh, amplitude minus x1 x1 minus x2 okay similarly right here number of times up to xn up to xn so how many times were written here this we can write here the n into n times the n times if we are written here n times x0 minus xn Our del is equal to one by n x zero minus x one. So this is the final answer to find out the value of decay or loss of amplitude. Loss of amplitude for n cycle by using this formula. This loss of amplitude. For n cycle, we can find out from this formula, and we can find out this loss of amplitude for one cycle. Okay, this for f by k. Once we know the value of y, y means what? F c. Here f f means what? F c. What we are consider this friction force. Okay. If you like this my video, please subscribe my video and more and more numerical watch it on this my YouTube channel. और कदम एकेडमी थैंक यू वेरी मच व्हाट आर द आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो ऑफ मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग फॉर दिस ऑल द वाइब्रेटिंग सिस्टम आई रिट डाउन थ्री आउटकम्स एंड फ्रेंड्स हियर यू ऑलवेज लर्न बाय सेल्फ असेसमेंट ओनली एंड यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल कदम एकेडमी इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक यू वेरी मच